Welcome back. Now what you need to do is that you need to add as many messages as you can. And again, you need to know your goal because it's impossible to create a chatbot that's going to answer every every uh, question or every text that the user, the user is going to send. It's impossible. Even if you are using the best chatbot in the world, it's, it's just impossible to respond to every single uh, question because, uh, as you know, there are uh, endless number of question, uh, questions and statements that the user could ask the user, uh, could ask the chatbot or, or could, uh, could the user send to the chatbot. So you need to know your goal. You need to have a goal, a specific goal and a specific purpose for that chatbot. So that chatbot could, could for example, um, uh, answer scientific questions, for example. For example, scientific questions about a specific field. Again, you need to be very specific. If you want your chatbot to be smart, you need to be specific. But if you are very generic, it would be very difficult to make that chatbot uh, smart. So here, as you can see, I have inserted only a few, um, uh, a few uh, statements and questions. Let's test with these. So here, let me first refresh. And of course, you need to run the server. You cannot use the static uh, uh, code to test the or use the uh, chatbot. You need to run the server. And you know how to run the server by opening the uh, terminal. And then you need to type uh, php minus s and then localhost 8000. Now I'm running the server. Let me here uh, type one of the one of the texts that we have here. So I'm going to say hi. I'm going to say here hi. If I say hi and send, the response would be hello. If I say uh, hi there, I'm going to say hi there, hi there, and then if I if I say send, the response would be hi there and then exclamation mark. If I say, do you have kids? Let me say, do you have kids? And if I send, the answer would be, no, I'm a chatbot. And that's correct. However, if I say something that doesn't exist in the database, for example, if I say, welcome, which doesn't exist, and if I send, the chatbot would say, what? Because we have... Uh, told the chatbot uh, to respond with what if there is no match, if there is nothing in the da database that matches the statement. So as you can see, the chatbot is going to be smart only if you give it as many uh, uh, statements as possible. And to, to, to make the process easy for you and to make the chatbot smart and to give the user a great user experience, you need to uh, have you need to make uh, you need to design the chatbot to serve a specific purpose and um, it's impossible the reason why I did not make a specific um, chatbot is because um, every one of you will have a different purpose so therefore you need to uh, you, the only thing that you need to do is that you need to click on insert and start inserting texts and response responses depending upon your purpose depending upon your goal and your chatbot will respond according to the uh, text that you say here and according to re the response that um, that um, that corresponds to the text that you type. Uh, the last thing that we need to do in the code is that we need to separate the chatbot send message with the response message. In other words, we want to have another function for the for the response. So I'm going to create a new function here. I'm going to say function. And then I'm going to say server underscore response. And the server response will the server response will have the same exact code as the uh, chatbot. I'm going to copy the chatbot, this code. However, there will be a few differences. First, we need to remove this else. We no longer need, need this else. And we here are good to go. There is no nothing else to do. Server response. And here in the make request, we need to say server, server response. We need to use the server response. And whenever we are sending a static message, we need to use this send 
uh, we need to use this chatbot send message. So we don't, we no longer need the, this if statement. I'm going to remove this if statement, and I'm going to remove this else. So this mass this uh, chatbot will be used. This one will be used whenever we want to send a static message such as this. How are you? So we will use this. Else, if we are if you are waiting a response from the server, we need to use the server response. So it's important to separate the two functions. One for server response, one, one for uh, responses that will come from the server, and another one for responses uh, that uh, texts uh, or responses that, that are static, that responses that will come from JavaScript. Let me test one more time. Let me now test. So if I refresh now, and if I here say hi, I'm going to get here hello. And you can send messages initially. So here at the top, you can send messages at the beginning of the... Um, by the way, I should remove this. I should remove this. And I should here say... I should say here message text. Message text. So now, if I save... The first message that the chatbot is going to send to me is, how are you? Now, if I refresh, the chatbot is going to say, how are you? I can say here, uh, good. And if I say good, the chatbot is going to say, what? And the reason is because we need to have here, we need to say good. So if user says good, the, the response could be great, for example. So now, if I say, if I refresh one more time, and if the chatbot says, how are you, and I say, good, the chatbot is going to say, great. So, in order to design a smart chatbot, you, are, you need a lot of time to, have, to, 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 um, to predict these, the, the, the conversation between the chatbot and the user. And again, here, I'm having a general chatbot. Therefore, it's again going to be difficult for me. But for you, I want you to, des to design a chatbot that, is, that serve, serves a specific purpose. That way, you will have a smart chatbot.